never found. Do you ever have any theories of how deep it goes? Um, most districts do have a bottom to them uh, because there's specific uh, geochemical things that um, you'll have pressure, temperature, you'll have a lot of different geochemical things that will determine where the bottom is. To the best of my knowledge, they never found that in this district. They never got to that point. Um, and that's something that eventual deep drilling will show. And, and what do you define as deep drilling? Um, since a lot of the uh, workings went down 2,200 feet in our area, I would consider uh, a 2,000 foot hole, a deep drilling hole. Um, 2,000 to 3,000 feet is well within the possibilities of RC and core drilling. I've worked with several companies that have drilled well beyond that. Um, 4,000 feet would be on the very outside of uh, a lot of drill rigs capability. So. Now some of the reports said that it bottomed in ore, hit a stoke. What does that mean? How come the drill couldn't go deeper? Ah, that's actually a good, good question. Um, one of the issues we have is uh, if um, you have extensive underground workings in an area, which is when some of our, uh, our um, uh, uh, drilling has hit stopes, and we, we always try to push through because we want to see what's on the other side. But what can happen is if you're drilling at an angle and you hit a big void, the drill steel, because it weighs a lot, will try to bend down. Mm -hmm. And so you'll, and it's trying to rotate at the same time, so you'll get um, uh, kind of like a fire hose effect. Mm -hmm. And uh, so the problem is, is if you're trying to reach the other side of that and you're trying to drill a, mo a drill that's moving mm -hmm. around, mm -hmm. it's never going to be able to enter into the other side unless it finds a fracture that keeps it from shaking mm -hmm. around again. So a lot of our, our drill holes have had to be terminated after going through a stove because the hole gets unstable and a variety of other things. The other thing that can happen is um, a lot of our ore zones are, um, someone asked a question earlier about oxidiza oxidation. We've had um, a lot of the rock has been heavily oxidized and there's a lot of fractures and there's a lot of faults too. So if we hit a big fault where there's a lot of gouge, oftentimes we'll have good grade in that, but we just can't get through it because there's too much torque on the rods, there's too many uh, drilling uh, complications, and it gets to the point where you could lose an entire <coughs> string of drill rods, and the cost to benefit ratio determines that we should move to a different hole rather than continue that one. So you're saying friction on the rod could bind the rod so you can't drill anymore, you might lose the whole uh, section. That's one of the many possibilities we can have is uh, friction. I've uh, seen uh, drill steel not at this property, but at other ones where there was so much friction on the rod with so many abrasive minerals in the ground that it's actually laid the drill steel completely off. And so when they tripped it out, there was nothing left of the drilling. It had completely cut it off. And so that's very expensive. Yeah. <laughs> so. Stop. Mm -hmm. How can you